is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Here to do number 25 on the general curriculum math practice test. This is a, an exam that teachers in Massachusetts have to take. If you're an, el an elementary school teacher or a special education teacher K through 12, you're going to be taking this exam. This is a good problem also for elementary, middle school, and high school math teachers that are also preparing to take the math MTELs. So let's take a look at it. Number 25. Uh, use the diagram below to answer the question that follows. It gives us, us this diagram. And one thing I notice, you know, right away, always looking at the problem first, I see a series of images. Okay. But it's, it's figure one this, figure two this, figure three this, figure four this. It looks like it involves what? It looks like it involves a series, a pattern. And this is this is when you when you start thinking when you start seeing patterns that are represented in the diagrams. I'm sorry, that's my stylus. Um, you want to automatically whenever you see a pattern, you, your mind has to click over into this is an algebra problem because algebra is going to involve patterns and series of, of uh, numbers. So now I'm going to keep continue to read. If the pattern continues, so good. So. I see the pattern in the image and it's reinforced in the question. So that's another clue if you didn't pick up on the image. Some, pe some teachers are really good visual. They pick up on the visual and spatial details. Others, they have to catch the detail in the question. So when it says pattern in the question, you're thinking algebra. If the pattern continues, how many more space, how many more small squares are in figure 100 than in figure 99? Ah. Classic pattern problem involving a series of uh, uh, figures and numbers. There's a whole bunch of ways to do this. I used to, when I was, uh, I used to at the workshops, um, have teachers sing a song. <laughs> and, you know, after like four hours, you know, they, they weren't so thrilled about singing the song. But we're going to do the song. Here's what, I'm, here's what I'm saying. Figure one here has one Figure 2 has 3. Figure 3 has 3, 3, 6. Figure 4 has, what do we have? Um, 4, 3, so it's an added 4 more, 10. Now how am I going to think about this? Well, I'm going to go from, I'm going to think about it in terms of uh, figure 2 has how many more than figure 1? So that would be 3 minus 1, that would be 2. Figure 3 has how many more than figure, I'm adding a, a plus 2 here. Figure 3 has how many more than figure 2? It has 3. Figure 4 has how many more than figure 3? Figure 4 has 4. Now we're going to add an arc, so let me go through that again. Figure 2 has 2 more than figure 1, because that's uh, 3 is 2 more than figure 1. Figure 3 has 3 more than figure 2. Figure 4 has 4 more than figure 3. Let me do that one more time. Figure 2 has 2 more than figure 1. Figure 3 has 3 more than figure 2. Figure 4 has 4 more than figure 3. Now. Let's imagine a new figure with 99 and 100. And this is, this is, I'm sorry, not 99, this is figure 99, and this is figure 100. Now we're going to analyze how many more um, blocks does figure 100 have? Well, if we're following this pattern, 3 has 3 more than 2, 4 has 4 more than 3, wouldn't it make sense that 100 has 100 more than 99? Check that out for a moment. Think, think about if that makes sense. Go back and sort of do that song in your head. Two, figure two has two more than figure one. Figure three has three more than figure two. Figure four has four more than figure three. Figure 100 has 100 more than 99. All right, I'm just finding out a pattern here. There's another way to think about it. We could say that, um, another way to say it is this. 
from two, from from one to two, I'm adding I'm adding two blocks. From two to three, I'm adding three blocks. From three, figure three to figure four, I'm adding four blocks. So then wouldn't it make sense if we're following this pattern? If we just do one more step from 99 to 100, I'm adding 100 blocks. So there's two strategies out here. For the, visu for the visual spatial teacher, you're going to like this way a lot. You're going to be like, yeah, I totally get it. I can see, I can, I can move the numbers and I can get it. I get to 100 really quickly. For a more of a linear, uh, a more concrete thinker, you're going to be like, hey, this works a lot better for me. From 1 to 2, I'm adding 2. From 2 to 3, I'm adding 3. From 3 to 4, I'm adding 4. From 99 to 100, I'm adding 100. The answer is C. Either way, I want you to, tr both ways I want you to try. Either way is just as good. Okay? Pattern problem involving algebra. I have two different strategies, a visual way, uh, a more of a linear, direct way of finding it. Either way, I can find out what that mi that um, last term would be. Okay? Thanks a lot, everyone, for watching. Check out one of the Harvard Square MTEL Math workshops for more strategies, or you can go to gomath.com and find out about one-to-one -one tutoring for the, the Math MTELs and other teacher uh, exams. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.